Oh, hi there. Uh, my name is Steve Ballender. I'm one of the senior tax managers at Shorts. So I'm going to be uh, looking at business structures, uh, the difference in tax and accounting compliance for each. So when you're setting up a business in the UK, there are effectively four main uh, ways that this can be done. Each has their own various uh, tax and uh, liability implications for the owners and shareholders. So the first one is a company, sole trader, partnership, and a limited liability partnership. So going through these individually, uh, a company, that's actually a separate legal entity. So the company in its own right will have to complete annual corporation tax returns, accounts and confirmation statements, which are submitted to company's house on an annual basis. The company, uh, any profits or losses, uh, profits are subject to corporation tax currently at 19%. Uh, and any retained profits after corporation tax has been paid, any salaries paid to directors, um, that, that, that pot of money is available to be distributed to shareholders of the company via a dividend. And that's effectively how business owners are remunerated, uh, salary and dividends. And dividends are subject to income tax for the shareholder, but there's no NIC, national insurance contributions on those dividends. Um, the benefit of a company is that the financial liability of the company is limited um, to the shareholders, uh, only to the amount that they agree to pay for their shares. So if the company is set up with £101 shares, for example, the shareholder pays £100 to that company, and that is the extent of their liabilities for the company's financial position. Um, if you're going to set up and run a company, and the intention is that that company will hold key assets, such as property, excess cash, then an alternative option is to actually set up a holding company above the trading company. And then key assets of those uh, of that trade can be moved up the chain to the holding company. And that has a benefit of de-risking those assets from the, from the trade activities. Um, the other alternative is to run the business as a sole trader. So that's somebody who runs a business individually they would complete uh, an annual set of accounts showing the profit or loss of that business and declare that on their individual tax return. Any profits are uh, subject to income tax and national insurance uh, through the self-assessment tax return. That individual, unlike a company, is responsible for all liabilities of the business. There's no uh, limited liability status with, with a sole trader. Partnerships and limited liability partnerships, or LLPs, as I'll refer to them, they're effectively the same with a few key differences. But in general, both of them are, uh, it's a business that is run by two or more individuals. So you can have a partnership with one individual. Uh, the partnership has to complete a set of accounts. Um, it will prepare a partnership tax return, which is separate to the individual tax returns. And the profits and losses of those partnerships are, are then split uh, as agreed between the, two, between the two or more partners and those profits or losses are then declared on the individual tax returns. Um, and similar to self-employed individuals, um, the profits of the, uh, their share of the profits of the partnership are fully taxable and subject to national insurance. And that's a key difference between a sole trader of partnership and a limited company is that uh, as a partnership or sole trader, you, you, are, you pay tax on all your profits irrespective if you take that money, whereas a company, you can control the amount of money that you take out of that business and, and, and therefore are subject to tax. Now, the key difference between a partnership and an LLP, under a partnership, very similar to a sole trader, they're effectively uh, liable for the, the, the whole of the partnership's um, liabilities and also any other partner's negligence or misconduct. And limited liability partnership, the key difference there is very similar to a company. The partner's liabilities are limited to the amount that they invest in the business in the outset. And also as well, financial accounts of, a, of an LLP need to be submitted to company's house. So there's a public domain um, information available on that as well. Uh, other key um, compliance requirements 
for setting up a business, whether that's um, any of the four that we've been through, uh, VAT. So that's if taxable supplies are in excess of £85,000, um, then the business will need to register for VAT and add VAT to future sales, uh, but also be able to reclaim um, VAT on purchases as well. Uh, pay to earn scheme. So that's when the business employs individuals, uh, employees or directors, if it's a company, then uh, the company or, or individual uh, sole trader or partnership will need to register a uh, pay-as-you-earn scheme with HMRC and pay over tax and national insurance on a monthly basis. And as a knock-on effect of having a pay-as-you-earn scheme, uh, the, the business must also have a pension auto enrollment scheme as well. Um, and that uh, is, is, needs to be available to all employees. And the business will also have to contribute on behalf of the employees. The only exception to that is if an employee decides to opt out of that uh, pension auto enrollment. Mm -hmm.